because this is the world's first demonstration of controlling a robot with a POC device, right? Yes. I'm really curious how that works. On the wall in front of me is the history of Hytera, showcasing all of their recent developments on critical communications. I'm not sure if you can see it, but they, they start with the history of 1993 through 2006, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 2018, over here. And then launched a professional series of POC terminals and body-worn camera. That is Hytera today. Well, what's also high terror today is exactly what's happening here. Take a look at all of those locations where the company is present. And the booth of Hytera is actually more or less closed, different than other years. And it's very much visible what companies are a part of the Hytera brand. We have the robotic arm over there. We have specially integrated command and control solutions over there. Uh, we have transportation, and that's Teltronic very good at over there in that location. We have operator MVNO and energy, energy solutions over there. So they're really playing a big role in critical communications on different aspects and um, I'm looking forward to this robotic arm demonstration and that's going to be done tomorrow not today unfortunately uh, so I'll be probably wearing a different shirt We were looking for apps for this device. The most customers were asking us um, what can we do uh, with this kind of device before, because it's more expensive than the older one. Yes. So, and um, they still need critical communication. Mm -hmm. So they have an old radio and a modern tablet or something, two devices. And we decided to show the customers that they do not need a second uh, device. They need uh, one device, we can combine um, the apps and the Wi-Fi and LTE technology with the Tetra or DMR critical communication te technology. Yeah, because this is the so. 4G LTE radio with Tetra, with DMR, yes. and you can use that in combination with a robotic device, right? Yes. So, so you need an app to control the robot? Yes, the app is to control the robot, but also to get feedback um, from the robotic arm if there is a collision or it uh, stops working. So the idea is that customers can um, be notified mm -hmm. about the movement or the programs, even if they're walking through the factory or... And they, yes, but they use the radio in the facility, right? They use yes. the radio in the factory, yes. and they immediately can detect if the robot yes, is doing exactly. something wrong, yes or no, if yes. there's a malfunction or whatsoever. Yes. Can they control the robot with yes. that? Also, can you can show me? It? The connection is uh, by Wi-Fi or LTE. Yes. So the um, broadband connectivity okay. Okay. Uh, is used for controlling the robotic arm because of the la latencies. And latency in industry automation is, is, is a killer, right? You need yes. to have as low exactly. as possible latency. Yes. Okay, good. Tetra would work maybe for the notification. Yes. Uh, or, um, but not for the control. Okay, I'm, I understand. Okay. So, so let's control the robot with a, with a, t with a device. Because this is the world's first demonstration of controlling a robot with a POC device, right? Yes. I'm really curious how that works. Is it fixed really? Yes. So we let the robot arm move? Yes. Okay. We can choose a program. I have different, um, here's a program for the showcase. You can try to touch it. Yes. And then? You will see that it stops and that we get the notification. Okay, let me see. You let can start me, it by yourself. Me. I can start, okay. Button. I'm gonna control this robot over here with this radio device. Run. Okay, so the robot is moving. So you're touching the robot right now. 
and it says the divine force limits for collision detection. So this robot is now being well withhold from any activity right now because you touch the the robot itself. Yes. That is interesting. And we can restart it from the distance just by selecting another uh, program or the same again. Okay. And make it move again. This is and it just does its program, right? Yes. Fantastic. Just another great example on how you can use radio communications in a facility like a manufacturing facility, for example. That's, that's, who came with this idea? Um, we had this idea last year at the PMI Expo in Köln. We needed a showcase for industry and IoT. And we talked to the manufacturer of this robotic arm because they were interested in uh, companies having uh, connectivity to their device. Yes. And uh, they provided us the API. And we created a scenario uh, for demonstration uh, and also for uh, customers interested in this kind of solution who already uses high terror devices. And now uh, buying this completely new, new kind of robotic arm so they can integrate communication um, with the robotic gun in their existing devices from Hytera. The sky is the limit, I would say. Your, your mind is your the mind limit. Your mind is the limit, your yes, mind of is course. Okay. So it's not a boring old mobile radio. It uh, can do an um, interesting thing and it's a uh, way into the future. Oh, super. I look forward to see many, many, many more things that can be accessed and can be done with this multimode radio device. Thank you.